level two. So we're here with Kiwi SA and versus Business Goldfish and Aros. Kevin oh. Rose, the tune like this oh, is yes. familiar. PR'd the last season of Smash 4. That was it. That, okay, there it is. There it is. I forgot who they beat, but they did. Ri oh, they beat Fallen in Smash 4. Yo, I'm just, see, like, this is a blast from the past yeah, here. It's crazy how all the gates open, like, mind unlocked. <laughs> when we and, saw the tune, yeah. like, there, and there it is. Guess what? They're putting in work right now. Oh, yeah. Because they, they have the percent lead in doubles. Yeah, the percent lead still mattering a ton here. But what's always going to make a difference maker is, like, especially in um, potential high tempo matchups like this. I mean, you see a Roy, things are going to start flying quickly. Yeah. Uh, is how many grabs one team or the other can get. Grabs can lead to just so much guaranteed damage, uh, so a, a potential guaranteed follow-up as well from the teammate. Oh, I love that ledge play coming out from Kev, uh, from Kev here as Kiwi tries to set up shop on the other side of the stage, giving uh, Don a play, uh, giving SA a place to retreat to. Yeah, but I also feel like follow-ups, like off of grabs, it's like through team comps that are like really synced in. So I know a lot of these players are teaming for the first time. I don't normally see Kiwi team with SA. She normally teams with like Pelica or someone like the, along those standards. So, oh, great drop off. Oh, but, yeah. uh, but dies for and Kev is still surviving. That yeah. is, yeah, unfortunate from the, from the counter, a good play just not working out. Yeah, okay, okay. but takes yeah. cl closing the stock right there. And Kiwi just still able to hold the stock. Pac-Man is pretty pesky to like take a stock from. This ability to put up Hydrant and this create walls, even in singles, but it is so much more in doubles. Because now it's just you and your teammate just hiding behind this wall, or Pac-Man just hiding behind the wall by themselves. Yeah, it's almost 3v2 here, yeah. how active that Hydrant can be. Flying off the stage at the moment, but it won't be gone for long. This is a matter of can Kev close out this stock before SA doing a great job of coming oh. in clutch, but still that stock is being that stock has dropped all the same. And what you can do sometimes if hey, if Kiwi is going to play very hyper defensive and not only has come to support the their teammate, then we'll just keep taking stocks off SA. Yeah, yeah. he's about to be my SA. <laughs> <laughs> True that. Moving on here is. I really want to see Goldfish start getting one of these longer Nair chains just to almost take one of these two players out oh, of commission as there? Kev drops the stock. Oh, yeah, unfortunate yeah. SD at the yeah. very least. It's hard to do the Nair chains in doubles because you want to like back off in case a teammate does come in to like help or like pass to a teammate. But I do see what you are saying. Oh, tried to go for the gimp right there, but being pit able to just come back nicely. Wow, the transition off of weak boomerang into that forward air, and yet SA immediately has to take that stock in order to tr try to provide some pressure. Goldfish is at 137, but that's Kiwi gone with a long edge guard from Goldfish going very deep for it. Yeah, and you can't just focus on one person in the two if you want. This is the moment where like your movement and your things have to come out. You got to start juking them like a football player. Yeah, these pivots are super are going to be super important. I like that empty hop there. Trying to use the fourth throw, very good. Gets the shield off of him. I mean, both, a lot of stocks are in danger here, and SA has a lot of health to work with. Only at 44. All right. Oh, oh they're out of shield. It looked like they tried to call out a jump with that bomb toss, but just didn't space it properly. Yeah, uh, highly unfortunate. Okay, missed the follow-up right there. And as I said before, like we don't know how much they team before, so the follow-ups aren't just there yet. But they got that one right there. Not closing it out, but he's on his second stop, last stock now. It comes in with yet another forward throw, looking to play this ledge well into the up air. Yeah, that lingers forever, so it's going to be a great combo finisher for Toon Link and for this team. Dash attack comes in. Does Goldfish go for another edge guard, or we set up another ledge trap? Oh, not just that. I say managing to get it off and fight his way off, and now we're in a 1v1 situation. 151, that fourth throw would have done it. Great awareness and great spot dodge as SA starts to get things rolling here. Yeah. Rage Roy is a menace. Yeah, Rage Roy, that's a meme for a reason. It, it's not game. It's not game. Please. Okay, oh notice it. Oh my lord. It, I, it was like 2 or 3% off, I feel like, from that just closing out. The parry on the jab and the down smash afterwards will do it. Oh, yeah. wow. Uh, Business Goldfish escapes barely with their life on the roll behind yeah. down smash. So. If I'm SA and Kiwi, I am not staggered mentally by this game. 
even though we lost, we brought it back to essentially last hit. That was like a percent off from Roy Saibi killing. And SA lost stocks early. And if I'm SA, I played bad in the beginning, but I started cleaning up towards the end. I just need to keep a certain level of play now. And I can probably, we can close this out. Yeah, that, this feels super doable from yeah. so many positions. I feel like I want to see Kiwi try to take a little bit more stage yeah. and, and dominate a little bit more of that uh, position. Uh, with the, uh, sorry, we got we got to visit from a friend, everybody. Yeah. Shout out to Ajax. You'll be seeing him. He's one, he's one of our later. uglier friends. <laughs> <laughs> I called you ugly. No, <laughs> no, no. We move on to the game. Town of City again. That same counter pick. <laughs> All right, coming back to stage. <laughs> And this, I really like this stage from a multitude of levels. Not only is, oh, that's a fortunate, great edge oh. guard from Goldfish, but generally the stage does favor Roy. And it, hey, that side B in game one would have killed on PS2 in the previous game and almost kills there. But now we see Kiwi start to take a stance a little bit more center, trying to, to contain a double edge trap as Goldfish powers through, but to goes to support his teammate. Yeah, I'm surprised. I want to know what they banned uh, they, to like end up on the stage. Oh, you're right. Dev, I, I, I'm sorry, I don't have this luxury <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> yeah, the bands being small battlefield in Yoshi's story, they're really trying to cut down on the amount of platform presence it feels like there are consistently. Yeah, also those are smaller stages in general. True. So they, they wanted a longer stage. Yeah. Hey, when you have a floaty zoner like Toon Link, sometimes you want that extra airspace, but that same kind of full hop habit gets called out by Essay, who's been doing, who has really been on fire, but just is very susceptible to early edge guards. And Goldfish has been taking advantage of that yeah. tenfold. Okay, and I was about to say another one right there. And yeah, Essay, like the ability to not hold stocks has been what's holding this team back. Because now, like, as last game, Essay's gonna start probably start taking stocks right now. But the bleeding might just be a bit too much. Yeah, I mean, look at the goldfish here at 183, still surviving and uh, dare I say even thriving. Though yeah, that but look, look at Kiwi, yeah. 108, 119, still three stocks. Yeah, we're in a very weird position where it feels like uh, SA is willingly throwing themselves into dangerous position because they know Kiwi is at the very least holding steady in a position of stage. But that lingering forward tilt from Kev will even up the stop count and ooh, not even even up the stop count will put the blue team in the lead four to three. Yeah. Great back air out of shield. You're gonna try and get out of the scramble and catching with the air, catching the air dodge yeah. with that forge match as well. Yeah, Kiwi. and now stocks are even. Oh, can they get this edge guard? Goldfish doing a great job of keeping Kiwi far and away. I love that uh, both teammates actually on blue team have this dash attack that is such a good whip punish and such a good burst option. And yeah. Pitts especially is gonna start killing uh, SA rather soon. Yeah, oh! He got caught off guard. That stop was never Kiwis. Immediately <laughs> taken. <laughs> <laughs> she knew who it was for. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but this is the same position they were in last time. Can they make a, do something better with, and I'm talking about red team. Yeah. Can they put something together? It, Kiwi's already uh, surviving a whole lot longer in this final stop both sides situation than she did in the previous game. So that's already a huge plus. Oh, you know uh, what? Yeah, you're, you're speaking too soon. You know, I'm just a little bit too early because that bomb into foreigner has been doing it since 2014. And the down smash as well. A little bit of deja vu there at the yeah. end. He's like, like, yo, this is a callback. <laughs> yeah, throw, throwback City to just some of the clean confirms coming out from Kev. Uh, the uh, frame trap as well on the neutral air dodge at the very end, uh, proving that SA, not not letting SA get out of disadvantage immediately and start using Roy's uh, speed and initial dash to great effect, just covering that immediately. Yeah, and I think that that's definitely an upset according to seating. For sure, for sure. Like, but I like I can't be mad at it from a visual perspective. Like it's not like something like yeah. insane. Yeah, insane they happens. look they look like they had control. It looked like the better team won, but you wouldn't see that like on the bracket paper. Right. Yes. Because you, I, I especially think of Pac-Man and like these heavy defensive characters as really solid overall because they can play stock yeah. so effectively. But 
when you see blue team doing very similar things in a lot of ways, like so the survivability was absolutely there in traditional means. Like yeah. the DI was on point. The uh, being able to support your teammate in a lot of uh, key situations. I mean, we saw business goldfish live until like 170. Yeah. 